Everywhere I go, I see his face. I miss Brent. Brent. We shared so many conspiratorial, perhaps treasonous, depending on your perspective, conversations amidst that soft candlelight. You knocked that candle over so many times. I did, I killed that candle. And it was someone's job to put a new candle, and we'll never see him again. He's gone. End of old Captain Grant. Brant. 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 Yeah, I, I did love Brant. that. That Captain. Gant? Brant. Brent. Brant. Bran. Brand. Brand. Okay, bandit, remove the I and then put an R near the front. R, oh, me I! Oh, I'm a one-eyed bandit now! Yeah, that's the one. Look, the point is, okay, I miss Grant, and I don't think I will ever see him again. Oh, hey, Grant. I like how he comes here to drink every night, regardless of whether he's performing a conspiracy or not. It's a good cover. <laughs> Where he stands, like he has a masterful technique on standing suspiciously, like just the lean what? over hunch on the bar, the little tap of his fingers, a little looking. Well, it's left also and right. like the the hand prepared to draw near his sword at all times. I'm confident. Oh my head! Ow! <laughs> I've suffered a concussion recently. Also, don't ask where that bump is under my cape. Wait, you can ask him about the ox cart? Oh yeah, how did I not see that? Oh. About the phantom ox cart? Oh yeah, the dock, the docks. Here you go, here's a document, sir. Oh, to be precise, it's legal to abduct Paul! Excuse me, someone could kidnap you and I wouldn't be able to legally request your return. What if the trick is actually to get me abducted? Should we ascertain who's requesting the bonds, we'll figure out who's requesting the bonds. I would I would like you to, to really get their attention, you know, especially the ox. Oh shoot, the guys of a pawn and a weight pick. Oh, I'm going to pretend to be a pawn. But how would you do that as well? Just stand there and go, I'm a pawn. I mean, this feels like you need a mask type thing, like the beast red but one. How would you have a pawn mask? Well, no, I don't know what it would be, but I feel like there has to be, like, a specific item. Also, the sentence of pawn mask. They want you to disguise. This is my pawn mask. You're what? I mean, to be fair, the beast red mask is just a face that someone cut off. Why is Mr. Elfman just in front of her? You've made a difference in my life, you know? Since meeting you, oh. I have braved immeasurable tests of courage and learned much okay. of myself and the world. As I said, I intend to set on a journey soon, and I'm hoping you might accompany me. I love that when okay. you reach max, like, affection with an NPC, they find you and, like, let's travel for a bit together. Let's do it. Here's a little note. Well, so this, is, this isn't even like a meister. He's just a dude. Where do you want to go? Here. That's not even, I mean, that's not crazy, I guess. I mean, it's it's pretty, pretty far. It's far, but it's like not far from the check. Oh, it feels like this is an ox cart technique moment. It, it does feel like it, doesn't it? Yeah, that's an ox cart. That's a, I've felt an ox cart if I've. That's a fat ox if I've ever seen one. That's a fat ox if I've ever seen a goddamn fat ox. Now, what's hanging from our door? Training is akin to humming a blade. Yeah, Baron. Oh, do we get little letters from our from our bestest friends yeah oh, i gave you a ring oh there's merton oh that's the package coming this letter tis by no means a gift i simply borrow much and have surplus to be rid of it's gonna be a book isn't it what, what's gonna be the book why is he so bashful i mean it's not a present i just had too many and thought you might I, want one. So i just bought, i just had too much yeah i mean it just seemed like an easy way to get rid of it that wasn't throwing it out so both are rings. So they just gave you rings. How did he accidentally buy too many rings of precipice? I accidentally bought two because I wasn't very precipient. Do we deal with ox car or do we... Is it time sensitive? I don't know. It doesn't say it is, does it? No, it does not. I mean, it's time sensitive in that it has to be at night, so it's sensitive to... What? <laughs> So, thank you, great dragon in the sky. Just, just feels like. I mean, I, 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 I guess we were looking for those, but like, I thought, I thought we had them. It just feels like a dragon, just like <laughs> took a shit over the city. I have many, many questions. Is that that's a bit grim? All right, elf man, you're coming with us to uh, investigate a phantom ox cat. That's what you're doing. I don't know if you'll appreciate that, but you know, that's what we're doing. You ready to ox it up, buddy? Oh, it's really fast, unless you're on, like, a, a downward slope, because then you go in the air. Imagine if you're on an upward slope, it works even better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, I'm exhausted now. I'm exhausted. There's a lot of energy. Sorry, that's what pawns are for. I mean, theoretically, we have to look like a pawn somehow, right? So we first just act like a pawn? That ox is on fire. Why is that ox on fire? Fire. That looks incredible. Hmm. I guess it only appears at sunset, right? So we probably overshot it. Well, I, I, I have to imagine it's probably not that specific, but maybe. Oh my god, the flaming bloody... Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, it looks really cool. Oh my... Oh, and it no, makes careful, the blast! Careful, 
Careful! Change element! Oh no, it's the people of the city! I'm just enjoying my cool flaming twin blade, and you're like, you're, you're, you're being dangerous! You're literally firing blasts of fire at people in front of you. It's not a person, it was a pawn. And it was an inch from their head. That doesn't matter, the pawn doesn't care. You're doing a bad job of disguising yourself as a pawn. A few moments later. Oh no, I'm a lost pawn without any clothes or equipment or... Ooh. Any kind of knowledge, sir. I'm glad that you followed my advice to be naked. Alright, in we go. I will get in your cart. Can't see why not. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, what is happening? What am I doing? Are you okay? How did I do this? What's going on? <laughs> oh it's my god, out. I see so many pecs. Where are you? Oh, we're in. We're in. Okay, we're in. This isn't going to backfire, right? Like, willingly getting in the prison carriage. Well, I assume that they take pawns because- <laughs> Running after us! Yeah. <laughs> Excellent, we're actually moving towards my goal. This is perfect. Oh okay, god, we rode past our actual paws! What, what do you mean? This isn't a normal ox cart. <laughs> I'm so perplexed at what is occurring! That's not how this works. Oh god, they're off! Are we allowed to put our clothes on? Is he actually getting involved? Yeah, he's shooting them with the, the, the bow. All right, here we go. You're on fire. Come on, I'm it, goblin. How are you more flammable without clothes than you are with clothes? <laughs> yeah, just overwhelm them with pure pawn strength. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh sick. <laughs> Fucking Ken up in the house. Is that you with a giant flaming sword in the background? Maybe. Cotton, Cotton, we're we're undercover here, man. What the fuck are you doing? I'm like holding my head. Do you think that the ox cart has like god sway on it? Is that why the crit glows blue? Oh. That would answer why the pawns just sort of blindly get in. That would answer so cool, yes. I just love the elf following us. It was part of our plan. If we have someone who's not stuck in the cage. <laughs> This way, we'll always be able to get out. <laughs> this is strange, my friend. I, you stripped naked and got into a prison guard, but I mean, whatever works. You're the arisen. Hop, I mean, hop, hop, hop. You say you, you say you want me to follow you. All right, fine. I mean, <laughs> we're going in the direction that I wanted you to bring me, anyways. It's not quite the objective I had in mind. Where are we going? I mean, we're definitely going to the checkpoint town, actually, because didn't they say that they were being taken to- I mean, we don't technically know where they're, where they're going. We just kind of assumed that. Well, I, 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 I thought we were told that. We're trying to figure it out by- Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're in checkpoint. I bet you he's gonna be like, you can't check up on me, I'm a diplomatic envoy. You're so mean! Oh wait, no, no, there's no problem with it because it's not illegal. <laughs> yeah, and also Batal hate pawns, I don't care that they're being transported as slaves. But, but surely they would prefer them not even to be in Batal. Does that mean I can beat you without any complaints? Complaint? Is, is that what I'm hearing here? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, technically. Are they gonna hit you? Oh, we have to accept it. If we fight back or anything, then they'll realize we're not a pawn. It's they just <laughs> hit the fucking hell! I just love that he's just sitting here like- Thing, this is not what I was expecting. Oh my god, this is so cruel! Ah! Why are they focusing so hard on you? This guy really likes hitting you specifically. Ah! He's hit you four times. Why are you so close to him? Who is this guy as well? I thought it was going to be the guy that was on, on the ox cart that was talking, but it's this guard. <laughs> well, clearly they, they, they've been informed. They know what's up. Like, this is this is a Batali conspiracy. Oh, well, is it Batali? I mean, we're taking them to... I mean, I imagine it's going to be the secret lab for, for Phasius is what's, is what's going on here. Yeah, but I, I think it's all... It's all uh, all goes back to the queen, I think. Ah. Oh, and then they just release you. It's like, we just want you in Batal. <laughs> Just shoring up the wild population of pawns. Yeah. Excuse me? Oh, uh, no. Okay, never mind. Apparently, there's a door. Excuse me? I think this may have been a very big thing that we've just done. Just gonna throw it out there. I made a very good character. You know, I'm just. That's a very. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. On your knees. I, I can't wait. I can't wait for mine to be, to be seen. We have an intruder in our midst. Two arms! No! Yeah, I do, we do have two arms, they're right. Oh! Quick, put on your clothing while they're not looking. Have we made a huge mistake? No, we failed the elf travel companion. Oh, he finally stopped falling. He finally reached the point where it's like, you know, yeah, that's uh, Wait, Where, where <laughs> are we? we? We are far away. That's actually a really great question. Oh, that's the palace. What is this? Oh, is this? It's like the path towards the volcanic island area. Are they trying to get this door open and it's something to do with pawns? Maybe there's something they're trying to do on the other side of the door that involves the pawns. That's pawn. entirely possible. Like maybe they were just about to open the door and let all the pawns through and this is like our way to get through the door. <laughs> oh my God, that stab explosion. Yeah, it's really Flame cool. Flamebearer palace spell seal door. Yeah, so this is definitely something. Blast. It, what what blast, do I do after the blast? blast. 
just kind of kind of just blast. upsetting him is what I feel like. You're really good at blasting again. Yeah, look, the pawns are struggling. I mean, I, I I have to feel like there's some sort of button you're supposed to press that's supposed to interact with. Like an you're you're having a really bad time. <laughs> I think pawns can't naturally go through that door, is what my guess would be. Ah, labor requisition. Okay, you obtain some incriminating evidence. I do like obtaining evidence by violence. Oh, wait, let's go. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. my god. Oh, my god. Oh, oh god. my god. Oh, yeah, my that's, um, god. That's pretty effective, I would say. Oh, fear me and my ghosty. You guys are really mean to these guards. They didn't ask for this. Yeah, look, I'm... I bet you these, these guys don't even know what they're doing. Every time the pawns get close to the door, they can't do anything. It's the door, yeah. It's spell, spell sealed door. I bet you pawns are just an extension of magic in some way. That's so interesting. Ow! Oh my god. Stop! They're gonna kill you with shields. We've obtained a solid piece of evidence. Uh, do we just like bring this back to Brant then? I assume so? Preparing orders to forcibly procure pawn laborers for the Batali ruins. Also mentions a curious staff capable of commanding the pawn legion? A god swipe staff, isn't it? I wonder if that door can only be opened with a godsway or something like that. That's so interesting. The fact that it's brought us like here. I bet you Phasus has a godsway staff. Hey up, Brent. About the ox cart. Find an ox cart. There you go. Here's another letter for you to read. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. Ring of momentum. Ooh, speed. Off the Pilford Pass. Is that what we already have? That's what we already have, isn't it? Yeah, that's off of Hugo Guidance. Yeah, so I guess his, his next thing was just see if we can find any way to connect this to the nobles. So that felt very open, like we have to find something new. Maybe we go talk to Prince, Prince Dude? Prince Mannington. He might know. He could. I'm really enjoying Mystic Spearhand. It's just, it's just hard to accept not being, like, godly powerful. Well, I feel like you might be if you got it to vocation rank 9. I don't know. Is it going to have Augral Flare? No, but you could have a sorcerer that does. Now, Pawns, I'm going to go in here. Don't freak out. By the way, it's trespassing at night, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, God, yeah, it is trespassing at night. That's okay. Right? Are you even right in front of the gate? I don't think we've ever entered right through the front gate. Yeah, they are. I guess they're upset if they see you go through the entrance, but not if they see you inside afterwards. That doesn't make any sense. No, but it makes more sense to them just not being consistent in the slightest. Don't mind me. I love that even the music is like, you don't belong here, but all the guards are just cool with it. Yeah, the music really belies the, the reality of the situation. I knew this would happen. You would come to me in my bed, and I know so little. I wonder if his whole thing is that he's trying to get power secretly the whole time. Maybe he's pretending to be on our side, but he's just using us to move his mother out of the way and just actually be in power. What if it's a double-double cross? I don't know, it doesn't strike me as the conniving sort. Probably not, but like, that would be a good twist. I mean, we've just not kind of been in the other rooms. You know, Jesus Chambers. Oh! Hello, I'm the Queen. We can just talk to the Queen? What? Feels illegal. Okay. Why did she- she's so concerned with making sure that everyone believes there's an arisen in the castle. That, that if a stranger walks up in her bedroom, the only thing she has to say is, We shouldn't be afraid of a dragon, we've got the Arisen. That's so interesting. What? Okay, that guy doesn't like you. I must ask you to leave this place at once. All right, no problem. Yeah, no, we're working yep, on it. Don't worry about it. All good. All that is actually good. precisely what's happening. Yeah, that is that is exactly what we're aiming to do here. So uh, Thank you for escorting us. We do know how guys, to get guys, out. Guys, we're we cool. We know where the exit is. We're cool. Yep, yep. It's absolutely A-OK, -okay, team. Completely understand, though. Everyone just go back to their job, and we'll all get a better day. So the question is, then, how do we... Maybe we talk to some of our new noble friends? Or perhaps the woman who was exercised from the nobles and made a beggar? That feels like it. we're thinking, too too well there's no way oh I, th I think probably yeah but like uh, it could just be time to be fair you never know oh and you defeated no good my look at me oh have you been used by three people oh we got a duller hand you killed a duller hand we've not even seen one i don't even know what that is but i've got a bone you want a look, bone i don't it's know crazy. either i was just trying to pretend that i did know what that was by being like would, impressed would, would you like me to give you a cursed bone will that freak you out at all look you were loved and liked and loved oh he even gave us the, the bone to take back from the dillahan i know yeah let's get you killing a goblin golem golem golem, golem. Those are different things golem golem oh golem damn smeagol be coughing in here <laughs> Oh, a Smeagol coffin would be really tiny and sad. Or funny. <laughs> funny! <laughs> well, just think about the person who has to make that. Like, who does, who has to just sit there designing what the ideal what the ideal coffin is for that size? <laughs> I can't get over Grandma running in in an aggressive situation. Be like, I know every face here. I'll tell I'll tell your parents. Do you think maybe if we get to the volcano island and find where the pawns are, like doing this like dig? 
and then that'll that'll give us something. But we've just we can't go through this door. I mean, that would probably give us something. There's always the other side that we've looked at before, but it just seems like such a a dangerous maneuver to make without confirmation that we can get in there from that side. Oh yeah, it's either going to be this situation, which is happiness, or it's going to be yeah. this situation, which is sadness. Which is not. No, that situation is an hour of genuine pain. <laughs> Mayhaps I perchance purchase. Perchase, perchance, per stone. May I buy more before we leave? Yes, stones. Do you sell any fairy stones? Please, Filbert. You do. You sell one. I'll buy one. Thank you. Thank you, Filbert. Now in front of you, I will use it. What if we just picked it up just to be like, oh, can I have a look at that? And then we just use it without saying anything. Like, how's he supposed to chase you down to pay for it? Like, all you have to do is throw it in the air, right? Yeah, but then when we go back, he'd be like, hang on a minute. Yeah, but he'd only, he'd, like, what are the chances that he would he would recognize you unless you go back instantly? Oh, oh my god. Oh my there god. appear to be bandits here. All right, humble offerage. Oh, that looks so cool. Yeah. Oh my god! You see that, man? Okay. <gasps> oh, that's so cool! Oh my god. You can't do that with corpses. What about living people? You can do it with, oh my god, you can just throw them off edges manually. That's so cool! Like that's just that just skips a step in the throwing people thing that I that we love doing. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, that's so good. Oh, like, you that's can do so multiple. Yeah. What? What the hell did he just do? I don't know. Is it like the greater version of like the sun thing that we've seen? Maybe it's the power of that killer outfit. It is pretty killer. Oh, I'm gonna assume celestial pain. In a wave of holy light that hastens both the stamina recovery and speed of allies while reducing damage taken. Yeah, so that's just the really strong ability. Then. That's the ultimate, like, maester skill. It's got the golden outline. Yeah, okay. Who is the mage maester? They, do, will they look anything like that? Does that help us? What, like a beast run in a, in a skimpy outfit? Well, I was assuming more the outfit than the beast run part. That just seems a coincidence. All right. As low as I am to not be a sorcerer for this, let's see how we do. How low? Are you? Oh, <laughs> this is a. This is, hello, M Medusa. Nera Battle Wind. Oh. oh, look, we're in Nera Battle Wind Windrift. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, that is that. Is, <laughs> that looks so cool. Okay, I think avoid the red circle. <laughs> Step one, run into the gaze of a Medusa. Yeah, you you were you were running directly into that very quickly. Medusa, we're we're behind you, actively stabbing. Okay, you. it's turning now. How do you like this? Wild fury! It looks so cool. It really does. It's so much more snake than it normally is represented as. Yeah. Oh, I've made like a gash. I'm getting there. I'm getting through it. I'm getting come on. Do you give think me, maybe me. if you climbed up to like the human uh, part, it might do more damage instead of the snake scales. Uh, I'm getting you can see, look, I'm Perhaps. getting through. Alright, shut up. I know what I'm, I'm doing. Just, I'm just saying it might be a good idea. Hey, Medusa, just just need to climb up. Oh, just, she's she's if swinging. I just, if I could just get past your snake butt. Oh. Oh, okay. Just gonna Oh! Oh, get her in the snake butt. That's, oh, right that's doing as much oh, as Okay, it. that's understandable. I stabbed a snake woman in the ass and got thrown against the wall. Also, I can't believe the ass is that high. It just doesn't make sense to me. Ooh. This is seeming relatively calm so far. Yeah. Oh, I think it's about to vision again. Oh, I love the way that effect looks, though. Just visually. Yeah, look at that. It's like, it's like she's looking through me. I'm, I'm stunned. Oh. <laughs> it, it appears I tried to counter it based on the way I look there. Wait a minute. Maybe we shouldn't look. It's okay. We're surfing the snake. <laughs> we can't be statues while surfing the snake. Everyone knows this. It's impossible. Medusa. Medusa, you Come on, you, you, me, me dude, sir. <laughs> come on. You gotta gotta give us some more. Petrify us, you know? <laughs> Petrify us, Medusa! Come on! It was hard. To, it was hard to avoid being petrified in the first game when you're against the petrification. No, 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 Colin, 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 you're right. Well, that like you're it. in the it's Colin. Colin, stop just trying to. Oh! It's the pinkest thing in this game. Let me have my moment. Do you think it's just because you're melee that this is really seeming like she has like very little mechanics? Like she has a bow. Her petrification is ranged. I feel like maybe she's just made to be different. She does do that. That's fair. She hasn't done it often though. And the fact that it restores our stamina so effectively is uh, very good for this move. For yeah, sure. we can do like two of these back to back. Three of these. Okay, now we're now we're exhausted. Uh, it's pretty good. Oh, uh, we've reached we've reached music point. And unfortunately, we don't have enough pawns to constantly regen us. Like, you're, is it constricting around you? Do you think it's just gonna kill you? No, if no, you no, no, no. Too long? It would never do anything a snake would. Also, do. 
can we talk about the implications this model has for Monster Hunter probably using the same engine in Wilds? Oh yeah. Because I feel like I feel like that's just occurred to me, and I feel like that's probably like, like this level of snaky slithery fidelity, like, like Nadrala, Nadrala moving around, like sli slithering around you the way that Medusa just did would be so fucking cool. <laughs> Also, why does she have, like, a snake tattoo down her snake side? That seems excessive. It's so you know that she's all about the snake. Oh, she's looking at you. Hey, hey um... Well, Grim, no. I... I... Oh! Your leg appears oh, to be a bit of a... Oh, God! I didn't know you were oh, this God. flexible. Oh, God! Oh, my leg! Oh, my this leg! This is really impressive. <laughs> like, most people can't get their foot above their fingers, not to mention, like, all the way up to their chest. <laughs> never seen anything like that before. Oh, how am I doing this? <laughs> like, I'm not training stamina, so I'm not attached. I'm just actually riding the snake. Well, yeah, I guess it's just because you're on it. It's amazing. So does it just lock you to the monster if you're attached to them and you're doing melee attacks? Even if you're not, like, attached to them? Oh, look at that! Because that is so effective when you're stuck on them. Oh, my God! Like, you would think that would bring you off of the monster with the momentum that normally has. <laughs> And then you're now you're actually getting the weak spot too because you're like slicing up at the head. That's incredible. Oh no. That's actually yeah. We are losing our last pawn. Hmm. We're almost at the end. I'm sure this is fine. Can we talk about this? Maybe come to some sort of agreement. Well, only if we can. I, th I think we'll we'll come to a situation where we can see eye to eye. <laughs> yes, that's a great idea. <laughs> Oh, can I just oh, do that? Is she while climbing? Doing Wait, else? sorry. Is she just climbing up the pillar? Oh my god, she is just going up the pillar. What the hell is this? Oh, she's probably using it to get a higher vantage point for the petrification thing, isn't she? Medusa, 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 darling, Medusa. Keep attacking the tail, I guess. You know, it seems like a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah, okay, why not? Yeah, it seems it was a little louder. I mean, she doesn't seem to be like in a rush. It's all right. Get Twain cutted. Oh, she's freaking slithering over herself. This is definitely an indication of snake wyverns and, and monster hunter wilds. I'm sorry. Yeah, that that's just too good of an animation. And and oh, no. it's definitely going to be the same engine. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No. This is fine. This is absolutely fine. This is completely fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This, this is, is okay. Absolutely. This is okay. absolutely. I'm just exhausted. I'm poisoned. Just, just keep stabbing, and eventually it'll. You why has your damage gotten so much lower? Is that just me? Like you're barely. Touch oh, again. Okay. Yeah, I think you're the only oh, okay. target left, which makes it a bit yeah, more dangerous. Yeah, yeah, but she's not learned how to look underneath her. So. Yeah, she, she doesn't seem to know how to turn around, even though she's a snake. Yeah, you'd think of all the things that would have an easy time looking at you, no matter what, it would be a Something snake. Something that can literally, like, turn 360 degrees at all times. And I, I don't need to I don't need to say that. I have two snakes, and they're very good at always putting their head where their head needs to be. Well, yeah, they, they like where their head goes. Oh, do we stab? I mean, oh, yeah. we stab the blade in and then do the explosion part. Oh, okay. Did I just get absolutely creamed? I feel like I just got absolutely. I think so. I think you got a little creamy. That's all right. Call me double fat. No. Because cream, you, you don't, you're not going to call me double I'm fat. I'm not, and I don't know what that has to do with cream. Double fat cream. What? Why are you doing that to your cream? <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> but look, look, you stab in and then you explode to. the... the the thing in. Oh, we almost killed her! Oh, we've killed her! Yeah, yeah, I think that seems to be effective. Oh! 11,000 experience as well. Oh, she's dead. She Eight just seven. absolutely just. Oh, look at the thickness on that. My god, I didn't quite realize that's, that's it. That's quite the long. That's a long butt. She's crack. very, like, lengthened in death. Like, without yeah, she the really, coiling, she, died she full looks extended. comical. Like, it's just a sausage. Yeah, this is a good danger noodle. The, be the bow. Oh, that's got to be a cool magic archer thing. But like, Granite Medusa bow. What do you think the chances are we can learn magic archer by getting that bow? Because I bet you that's a magic archer bow. It's got to be. Let's have a look at this bow. Oh, that's just a regular archer bow. It greatly increases stamina consumption, but felling foes of it earns the wield a hefty experience. Oh, experience boost. Interesting. So it's just an, an archer specific experience booster? Can I not get her head? I want her head. That seems a bit rude. Well, the griffin quest is, like, get a Medusa head and freeze the griffin. So, like, how do we get a Medusa head? Well, this doesn't seem to be helping. Hmm, maybe head's, like, a breakable part on Medusa. You gotta do enough damage to it while she's alive. I feel like this isn't the one that we were told about, so maybe it's not the one that we get the head from? Like, maybe that's, like, an actual upgrade? Yeah, I don't know either. Kinda need the... Kinda need the old pawns back. Well, yeah, that is definitely a thing. Oh, my God. Ah! What do you expect? You're in a Ow. Okay, guys. You're just gonna die. Oh, and I'm poisoned. I'm just gonna walk away. 
I'm just gonna walk away from the ass attack. Yeah, I mean, this is this is the guard's problem. Oh, okay. That's why they're paying. Oh! You know what? I'm just gonna go in this. It's hill. Jarl's attic. It might lead to Jarl's treasure chest. Oh my god! Hello, I am Jarl. <laughs> what is its obsession with me? I think the fact that you're the arisen problem. Just die! Just die! Just please! Okay. Holy shit! Now that we in that we're in here, we should probably check the. What? Please explain to us why why. Why you're just okay Lizard with the situation? Lizard switching! Oh, it's switching like an actual drop lizard's tail! It's trying, it's trying, it's trying to get back to its body. That's so good! What? Should you show me your tongue? What the fuck are you asking me? What is wrong with you? Why, Why do we do it? Why it You're the very picture of health. I don't say Constitution could survive most any toxins. Are you saying that because we're currently poisoned? We're currently doused in ass poison, you bastard! Oh, have you ever crossed paths with an ass? <laughs> I'm sure you'll agree they're masterful poison he is! What does that mean? Use your eyes! I mean, we're just poisoned. I don't even know what an ass is. It's the, it's the poison lizards, they're us! Oh, is it? Oh, oh, okay. That's so funny! Do they? You let them go, they're spear! <laughs> they do do that, yeah, we've seen that, yeah, actually. Yeah, we actually have a, uh, yeah. Why are you so kind to return to be afflicted by us, Venom? Yes, actually, that if, if you're looking for that... <laughs> This just feels like the most convenient house to have accidentally wandered into during that. And the fact they attacked is... Batalbeck! And that he followed you into this house! I can't breathe! How is this a quest? <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't, I can't cope, I cannot act- I don't believe that, I don't believe that's a predetermined quest. The, the game had to have seen you in this house poisoned and just been like, Well, I guess we'll make that a quest right in this moment because you're there. <laughs> Confused, man. This game is so weird sometimes. Why does it make like a stealth game spotlight <laughs> visual? It's so funny. I mean, I guess you have to be able to tell where she's looking. Yeah, no, it's like it's a good way to have a telegraph. It just looks silly. <laughs> yeah, I think that's her her actual like danger spot. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, look like we attacked her face and she's holding her head. Yeah. Yeah, look, it's like loads of snakes go off when you do it. You're just killing the snakes one bit at a time. Medusa. Oh, she's climbing. <laughs> it's not really gonna help. I'm not you. really going to stop what we're currently doing, I mean, no. If anything, it's going to make it easier there, for us. But, like... Yeah, that part... Can you just, like, let go when she's stuck here so you're standing on her and regain... Oh, okay. Oh, like mini Dalamada. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was sort of hoping for. Because she does get, like, very stable when she's like that. I've just been... I've just spent this entire fight just stabbing her repeatedly in the neck. In the snack, you mean? In the snack. Well, at least you've not been attacking the snipples. Like, her body doesn't even have any wounds. I mean, it, it does look pretty wounded around the neck area. <laughs> it's just... You've been very single-minded in your efforts today. What? Oh, she's just dead. Decapitated? Oh, decapitate a Medusa! Okay. <laughs> do you think it's it. just like dealing the, the killing blow to the head, or is it like you have to do a whole amount of damage to it? I her? mean, she lost her entire last bar. She did pretty... It was like half... Yeah, it was like half bar, wasn't it? It was a lot. Oh, she looks very judgmental. I feel like you should probably take that before the snakes start getting upset about it. Oh my god! Oh, that's so cool! I wonder if you can cut everything's head off. God, I did spend the entire time just kind of stabbing her in the face! Its petrifying power will soon be lost. How long is soon soon be lost? Maybe it's a limited number of uses? Or maybe it is actually time. Move, dear. I mean, time is a, a, a genuine factor in this game. Well, the thing is, we need to go petrify. Like, do you think it just petrifies anything, or...? I mean, in theory, it'll at least be able to petrify a griffin, so... Yeah, well, we need to get here. I mean, we know it will, because we're we hard to do it, but, like, we need to... How do we... Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a hard one. How do we get How do we get there with any speed? If it's literal time, then I don't think we can, because the fastest way would be to use an ox cart after port cr or ferry stoning to a city. We don't have any ferry stones left, though. But even then, there's still a... <laughs> it seems like a dangerous position to have come here in. It may have been more advisable to take the rope lift here than if that was the case that we had one oh, to leave. I'm so glad that's how you cut her head off. I was hoping that would happen. Yeah, that is cool. And it just finishes her off. It seems a bit on What, like, what about, what about, like, non-melee classes, then? <laughs> how do you get that? Well, I assume if I was Sorcerer and I kept targeting her head with, like, the detonation, that would have done it, too. But, like, it's decapitating. Surely, like, that uh, cutting is a, a, you would think, a required part of it. I don't think it's, like, the worst thing if you just have to do that to get her head. It's, like, a little special. I mean, I guess. It depends how important her head is. I mean, you can take the rope lift. It is right over there, to be fair. Take it to station one, all the way on the upper left. Yeah, I think that's the way. I'm also not even here anymore. Yeah, I wish you wouldn't get petrified constantly. It's really sad.
Well, we should take the things off of me that get me that way. Just move out the beam. Tell me to. You have literal control. You can tell them to move out of the beam. Mm, none of them say move out the beam. I think there's a, to me, there's a go. Both of those are movement based. <laughs> Look, Oxen! Ow, oh, 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 God. Oh, pure, pure bliss at seeing Oxen. Oh, oh I never saw oxen. anyone in the flesh. Oh. <laughs> quest, see Oxen, complete. Oh, I'm so excited to use a Medusa's head to like stone a griffin. Yeah, it should be pretty cool. What are you, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Oh, come on, I'm preparing to jump. I'm building momentum. <laughs> uh, I didn't build enough momentum. Oh. And thus we have made like Perseus. I don't know what that means. Wait, really? Uh, I mean, I'm, I have more understanding of the the quick drumming that little beast rid is doing. Greek mythological hero, the, the Slayer of Medusa, famously used the shine polished bronze shield to get the reflection so he could fight it without technically looking into her eyes. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> As dawn breaks, I think on that note, like if you've enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world our stage Is, uh, goodbye